Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and finally a set of course of Competizione has come to console and stay tuned to see what I think of the game so far and see if the game is living up to expectation. So where to start, where to start, man? Um, let me just get this out there. This is by no means me going to be bashing a game. I love a set of course of competition only. I'm just going to be speaking my mind, speaking freely and just, you know, this is exactly how I feel and what I think about the game so far. So um, got to play the game earlier on today. Um, I had a race on PC in between uh, me streaming a set of course of competition only yesterday. And um, yeah. The, the, the difference, there is a stark difference between PC and console. Unfortunately, I would say, um, I kind of, I'm more disappointed um, for the guys who, this is their first experience of a set of course, uh, uh, ACC, this is their first experience. Um, the, the main problem being the steering so far, that there, there seems to be some sort of import lag and it's just, for me personally, it just, kills you know just kills the enjoyment that I, you know i personally get out of the game um i've done a few laps i streamed yesterday for about two hours playing the game and also i did about half an hour before that as well and because i've come from pc i guess i, I come with a certain amount of um expectancy I, I come with a previous knowledge of how i expect the game to feel and i tried to drop that out of my head as much as i could because we all knew how hard this game runs on a PC. So we knew they were gonna have to be, you know, some corners cut to get it to run on the console. But for me, I've got a PS4 Pro and listen, the frame rate, <laughs> the frame rate is another issue, man. I believe it's supposed to be capped at 30. And I can tell you now, I was, I did a lap around Silverstone in the Bentley. And I don't even think, when I watched the replay, I don't even think I was getting 30. It was crazy. It was stuttering. Um, I actually, I think I've, I actually will play, play the, play the actual clip at the end of this video, and um, yeah, it was just, it was just off, you know, it's off, and so far, I can forgive poor graphics, I can forgive poor sound, just as long as the handling is not messed with, okay? The force feedback in itself is not bad. I believe you can get the force feedback to feel pretty normal, pretty good, and. Um, yeah, the force feedback I don't have a problem with. I just have a problem with the, the input lag. And, you know, I'm, I've tried, I've done laps. I've messed around with my steering. I've done all sorts just to get the car to feel what I would perceive as normal or as close to PC as I possibly could. Um, but there's just so many anomalies that are just, it's just not right. I'm telling you, there's something that's just not right. I think they should have waited. I think they should have waited to they can you know guarantee the experience is going to be at least decent you know if you've got steering that's out of whack then you you know you you're messing up a great opportunity and it, this is a clip that i i had to go on because I, I i could just feel something was something was wrong and you see me like raking the steering from left to right left to right but the car is actually not moving that much and it's like the initial inputs of the car have been extremely dumbed down now i'm not sure if that's too you know help the people on the pad or whatnot I'm, I'm not too sure but if i did this on the pc you would see a lot more movement from the car bearing in mind i've had to change my actual steering i've changed my steering to 360. that's how much i just could not turn the car and it just the the original delay it's just weird and it doesn't affect me so much in the fast corners but the tight corners is crazy you can see i'm having to like oversteer the car and it's it's just it's just off completely off and as i said because i've got that previous knowledge of of playing the game i know that it doesn't feel right i'm not expecting it to feel exactly the same but with the steering it's just <laughs> like i cannot get to grips with it at all at all um another thing i would say of what i've seen or what i've perceived so far is 
I know they say this game is the same and yada yada yada. For me personally, console version is definitely quicker than than the PC. I'm not sure why, but just judging by certain things, when I um, for instance, I, in my stream, uh, if you watched my stream from yesterday, um, I actually went around Kialami where I I actually I go off at the first corner completely run wide like off the circuit um, completely messed the lap up and then I just carried the lap on just driving and talking not really concentrating I miss a few other apexes and that and then I come across the line and it's like a 41.3 I'm thinking scratch my head like huh 41.3 how how was that possible um, now th this is the lap that I did in the Bentley and at the time it got me uh, to number one on the time trial and you'll see there's loads of corners where you'll see where I have not maximized exit nothing you'll see here I don't even I don't even really get on the curb and for, for me driving a track and a car that I've done loads of laps around and I can see where I'm not pushing the car and bearing in mind the track conditions are 37 track temp and the track conditions are on fast you'll see I don't hit the apex there I don't really get a good exit again when I go through this section where where this is where I find hard the slow corners and you'll see I'm sort of well you can't actually see my steering but just by the body language of the car I'm like turning I'm raking the car raking 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 trying to get the car to turn and it's just weird and even now I, I, I believe I missed this apex as well didn't have a great corner here um, well I touched the apex but it's not how I, how I normally take that corner I completely missed the apex hair I believe as well and it's just the, the the tight corners I'm telling you there's something going on if you look at my lines I'm taking through the tight corners I am struggling you can see me like just completely struggling and I'm not having any issues with rear grip you know that's that's where I feel like it actually seems a little bit easier the rear grip is very easy for me personally um, but just the that the steering input lag is at the moment what is going to hurt this game the most and you know that's not what I want because at the end of the day if you look at you know GT Sports been out a while Project Cars has been out forever this is the perfect time for for ACC to come in and sweep up and just you know lay its marker down so I feel like you know with it coming to console this is a great opportunity for ACC to take over so if they're not if they don't patch it in time, if they don't fix it in time, people are just going to go back to GT Sport or P Cars or whatever else they were playing, you know. And that's, <laughs> you know, that's that's the issue, man. You know what I mean? You don't really want people to to just jump straight back into the games that they were playing before. And this is what I meant about, you know, like the the, the frames per second. It's just I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, as I said, I don't want to bash the game. You know, I love ACC on PC I love the game on PC um, but for me it's it's just <laughs> on, on on console so far it's, it's a struggle it's a struggle to uh, you know it's a struggle just to drive and that, that's the main problem I'm having it's a struggle just to drive and if it was too early then they should have just waited man you know don't 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 rush it because they've done such a good job on PC and I say it like as I was saying earlier on in my stream, whenever there's been any sort of issue on the PC, these guys at Kunos, they're fixing it within a day. Do you know what I mean? They're not messing around and that's that's what I like about them. But for console people, this is their first real taste and bearing, these guys have been sat down watching all the YouTubers, you know, watching all the streams of all these races all these racing going on and they probably can't wait to get on the game and then they get on and the steering's out of whack. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, it's, it's unfortunate, man. It's definitely unfortunate. I was excited about it and I don't even know why because I already got the game. I didn't really have a reason to be excited, but I just wanted to see what it was like on PS4. I always thought like, like how the hell are they going to run this game? This game's a PC killer as it is. How the hell is PS4 going to run it? And uh, yeah, to, to be honest, it doesn't look bad. You know, it doesn't look bad. The sound, obviously, amazing, but it's just that steering lag, man. I, I've tried everything. I have tried. <laughs> okay, like I've tried all I could to to like 
get over that steering lag but it literally affects my driving and it's going to affect anybody's driving you know what i mean if this is the first time you're playing it maybe you'll probably be able to get used to it more than i could because i have an expectancy of how the car and how the game should handle but anybody can pick up steering lag and i'm pretty sure there's other people been you know made their thoughts known about the whole situation but um i hope it's something that they fix quickly man um at the moment do i think setups can transfer to um console from pc i would say not fully at the moment not until this steering lag is fixed because i'm doing certain things in the setup to make the car just drivable just to feel normal sort of thing i'm not really setting the car up for for speed so even in that lap that i did that got me first in the world at the time there was tons of mistakes tons of mistakes man and that's why that's why i felt like it's quicker because you know i did the sro i did the sro qualification i was ringing this track in this car you know getting 56 eights and stuff like that in in more favorable conditions and here i am not even hitting certain apexes and i'm only eight temps off in much worse conditions you know so and that the car doesn't feel like it's steering properly so uh, there's tons there's tons more time there if they can fix the steering so hopefully there's something that they can get done man because man like they just need to take advantage of this this time that they have right now but anyway let's let's wait and see man but um yeah for all the guys that actually wanted to see what i was using in terms of my own steering input and steering ratios i actually had a little go just trying things just trying anything to get the the car to feel half decent and um what i actually did is i ended up just just going to, to 360 which normally i would tell nobody to do this i wouldn't tell anyone to use 360 on your on your steering ratio man um so originally the game comes on 540 um by default 540 steering but uh for me it just it was just so lazy man it was i couldn't i could not turn the car the car wouldn't turn so i actually put it down to 360 i put my t300 to 360 um put my gain down to 55 minimum force to two and the uh, dynamic dampening to two i always turn off road effects because who was there feel their hands just rumbling down the straight not me um and yeah that's pretty much how i ran it and the first thing that i did notice jumping on the game is there's no actual you know when you plug your wheel in it doesn't have a preset now when i plug my wheel in on the pc it has um in the bottom left hand corner where it says t300 your wheel actually comes up so you know that you know it's actually your wheel whereas on this it just feels almost like a it feels like you're almost using a control pad just you've just mapped the buttons to a wheel that's kind of the the feeling that i get when playing this game it doesn't feel organic um the same as what it does on the uh on the PC so it's a bit of a shame at the moment man and I mean I hope they sort it out I'm not gonna bash Kunos because I respect the guys man and you know on PC they've done a great job I just hope that they don't drop the ball for the console guys because you know, a lot of guys have been waiting for ages man they've been waiting they've been watching all of our videos and stuff chomping at the bit to get some GT3 action and yeah as I said for them not to be able to you know drive how they want to drive and just the basics of just steering it off you can even see it when i go through the slow corners it's like it's just <laughs> I, I i personally i can't do it i cannot do it man and uh i just wanted to shed a bit of light and just get my my feelings and thoughts on the game but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video man tell me what you think in the comments so far if you if you're playing the game on console but anyway it's crypto tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace